In response to the 22nd April Pahalgam attack, India launched precision strikes on nine terrorist camps inside Pakistan using Brahmos cruise missiles and loitering munitions. Pakistan responded with a barrage of drones and missiles. However, nearly all incoming threats were neutralized by India using multi-layered air defense network consisting of Russian S-400 systems, indigenous Akash missiles, L-70 and Zu-23 anti-aircraft guns. The key factor behind this success was Akash Tir, an AI-powered advanced command and control system that integrates all these weapons into a single, seamless air defense shield. What is Akash Tir? Akash Tir is an AI-driven air defense automation system developed by Bharat Electronics Limited BEL. It integrates everything, from long-range missile systems like the S-400 to Akash medium-range missiles, anti-aircraft guns like the L-70 and Zu 23mm, and a range of military and civilian radars into one unified, intelligent network. The system is fully automated, capable of detecting, tracking, and engaging aerial threats without any human intervention. This not only speeds up reaction time, but also enhances precision and efficiency. Key features of Akash Tier Total integration. Akash Tier integrates all ground-based air defense weapons into a single network, from missile batteries to anti-aircraft guns. It also combines data from military radars, Rohini, Rajendra, Swordfish, civilian airport radars, and satellite systems like Navic. Additionally, it can launch its own swarm of attack drones to counter incoming threats. Akash Tier control units are mounted on high mobility trucks, making them difficult to target. The system operates through multiple decentralized command control units across the country, ensuring that if one unit is destroyed, others continue functioning without interruption. All units are interconnected. For example, if a drone is detected over Rajasthan, nodes in Jammu or Gujarat are instantly aware. How Akash Tier works Constant monitoring via radar network. A web of military and civilian radars scans the skies 24-7, streaming data in real time to Akash Tier command centers. If one radar is jammed or destroyed, others automatically compensate. Real-time 3D airspace. Visualization. The system fuses data from all sources to create a live 3D map of Indian airspace, accurately displaying enemy drones, missiles, and aircraft. Friendly units like Indian Air Force jets and civilian planes and weather patterns to avoid false alarms. This detailed mapping allows the system to instantly distinguish between friend, foe, and neutral objects. AI-powered threat assessment and target allocation. A cash tier follows the OODA loop, observe, orient, decide, act, at machine speed. When a threat is detected, a cash tier's AI evaluates its speed, size, altitude, and trajectory, along with the type and priority of the target, e.g. a missile heading for a city versus one in a remote area. It then selects the most efficient weapon to counter it based on availability, cost, and other factors. For instance, instead of wasting a million dollar missile on a $5,000 drone, Akash Tier assigns anti-aircraft guns. Likewise, it will use S-400 for supersonic missile. Redundancy and fail-safe mechanisms. The system is designed with multiple backups. If a communication line is cut, it switches to backup fiber or satellite networks. And if a unit is destroyed, others take over automatically. This ensures there's no single point of failure, keeping the network always operational. Avoids friendly fire and weapon overlap. A cost tier ensures only one unit engages a target to avoid wasting ammunition and prevents targeting friendly aircraft using IFF identification friend or foe systems. It optimizes response time by assigning the nearest available defense unit. For example, if two Akash missile batteries detect a drone, only one is ordered to engage while the other stays alert for the next threat. Future of Akash Tier What makes Akash Tier truly revolutionary is that it's scalable and upgradable. As India develops new weapons and sensors, they can be integrated into this existing network.